The Legend of Zelda series, one of the crown jewels of Nintendo's properties, a franchise known and loved so dearly by the gaming community, with each console generation bringing new and unique gameplay ideas to the table, showing us what Nintendo's hardware was truly capable of. In 2012 came the release of the Wii U, more powerful, more graphically capable than the Wii, and ready with the promise of something greater on the horizon. Pre-launch we were introduced to a tech demo running on Wii U hardware, and it was incredible. Naturally, a full-on Zelda game would be in the works for us during the time of this generation. Or at least, there should have been. For months and months, there was nothing. Fans had to sit and wait. E3 2014, we were shown a teaser trailer of Hyrule Warriors. Was this the new title? No. It showcased great graphics and Dynasty Warriors styled gameplay. This spin-off title released later that year. Hopes for seeing a new mainstream Zelda game was not lost. A placeholder title called The Legend of Zelda revealed what we had been hoping for. A beautiful landscape and then a horseback chase revealing our hero. The game would release in 2015. However, it did not. While we got to see new gameplay from Awanuma and Miyamoto, showing us the game would have an expanded world built around that of Twilight Princess. The game's release was pushed back a few years. This is where our story gets interesting. It had been 10 years since the release of Twilight Princess, and with this saw an HD remake for the Wii U. And, as we see Link sitting atop his horse Epona, the scene transitions with cell-shaded form. There it was, Zelda Breath of the Wild, the game we had waited for so many years. Hype was through the roof. It had a confirmed release date of early 2017. Anybody would have wanted to play this game. Of course, even me. I've been a dedicated Zelda fan for as long as I can remember, ever since I was little. And for people just like that, Nintendo of Australia's newsletter posted a competition for a few select players to get a chance at the game in the EB Expo of 2016. And who did one of their winners happen to be? Oh yeah, that's right! Me! Well, off to Sydney then! I may have been a winner, but I didn't get to go. I had a chance to play an early beta of the game months and months before it would come out and I didn't get my chance. Funny, it's like the only contest I ever won and I didn't get to claim. The problem is, I live in Melbourne. The EB Expo was in Sydney. And it's not a quick drive, no. It's a flippin' plane trip. And unfortunately, due to circumstances, I was unable to go, and unfortunately I had to miss out. When I told them I couldn't come, they sent me back an email saying the Ocarina of Time would have come in handy. Is that so? No, no it wouldn't. Well, no point complaining over spilt milk. What's in the past is in the past. After Nintendo Switch was announced, it was stated that Breath of the Wild would release simultaneously on both the Wii U and the Switch on the same release date as the new system itself. March 3rd. You know what that means. Let's go get it! The game requires a 3 gig install, so you're gonna need a USB stick, but it's well worth it. Please enjoy the opening cinematic. Wake up, Link.
For those who are wondering, the Wii U version doesn't differ much from the Switch. It's all very minor and you probably wouldn't notice it. The gameplay surprised me. There's a jump button. Also, you can find weapons or just take them from enemies. The graphics are just stunning. And there's just too much to say about this game without just saying, play it yourself. However, full gamepad functionality has been removed, probably due to the Switch port. I love how this game is structured like the original Legend of Zelda where you do whatever you feel like rather than the story telling you what to do. As a matter of fact, they've been using a prototype they made for testing ideas in the style of the original Zelda. So that's neat. I mean, I started this game the moment I got home after picking it up, and I didn't stop until I realized it was past midnight. There's just so much to say. So, almost six years in development. Did this game live up to its legacy? Yes.